Guess what started today? Huh? Guess what started today? What? First of November. Oh, the Maccas thing. The Maccas thing. Mmm. One dollar Big Mac. Yeah, I'm getting one after. You getting one after? I've got mine today at lunch. Bro, fucking... It feels better when it's cheaper. 100%. Tastes a lot better. Everything tastes better when it's free or cheap. You know what Janita said to me, though? What? Last day, 30th November, guess what it is? What? Take a wild guess. A wild guess. Just take a wild guess. It's something to do with the quarter pound. That has to be. If huh? You're ex- if you're excited about it, it has to be a quarter I'm not pound. excited about it. Well, then I don't know. It's a fillet of fish for $2. On a, on the on last day. day. On the last day. Fuck off. Mac it's is a, you're a dickhead. It's a fillet of fish. And I saw I went today when I got my Big Mac. Some guy was eating down, sitting down, eating a fillet of fish. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany, in the drive three, you know, 8 o'clock at night. And, and she bought one. She got a fillet of fish. I remember I sent you the it video. It wasn't free. She bought it. She bought, she bought it. Waste of money. She was like, can we get Maccas or buy you on the way? Because it's out of the way to Bod. Mm. Bought a fillet of fish. I was like, get out of the car. But I was too drunk to drive, so I couldn't. Fucking me. Anyway, episode 27. Welcome back. It's a 27. 27, mate. Fuck. You're it's creeping up. up. Now. We'd be at 30 if you didn't take a break twice. A break? A break. I'm sorry, what do we have a break for? Well, we had... You were hungover. What? <laughs> what? What you do you mean? What? We missed two weeks of f- f- filming. What do you mean? No, we didn't. Oh, no, we didn't. No, we missed one week. Oh, so maybe at 28 then. Yeah. We did the vlog. Anyways, it's, it's a Monday. Why is it a surprise, Monday Surprise, surprise. Wait, two episodes in a row. Why are we recording on Monday again? <laughs> <laughs> My body can't handle it anymore. You fucking weak as piss. It, can't, it comes from the guy that doesn't <laughs> fucking drink, bro. Fuck off. Hey. I was, wait, I felt worse than last week. I was like genuinely like dry reaching. How? I was so dizzy. I don't know. But you weren't even that bad on Saturday. I mixed my drinks and I had a lot of drinks. <laughs> what did you get up to this weekend, Lockie? Uh, Friday. What did I do on Friday? What did I do on Friday? We watched scary movies on Friday. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we w- we had a horror movie marathon. Yep. We had a, we went, we well, you were here for two well, I movies. Here, I was here for one movie actually. and a half. No, one oh yeah. Movie. Oh yeah. Trying to watch this hell scary movie. Like he's like, no, I've seen it. I've seen it. The no, ritual. you didn't. You seen it, you bro. played it off like we watched the trailer. No, and you guys like, just yeah. started laughing because it was perfect timing. I said, nah, I've seen it. <laughs> yeah, because we watched the whole trailer. You're like, no, I've seen it. <laughs> I've definitely seen it. <laughs> you're just trying to get out of it. But yeah, then you left anyway. Oh, uh, yeah, I watched. Um, what do we watch? Ready or not? Is yeah. that what it's called? Yeah. Uh, I have a massive, 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 massive. Cru- crush on her. On what's her name? I can't remember. But she's weaving. from Home and Away. Samantha Weaving is that her name? I don't know. But she used to be on Home and Away back Oof. in the day. She's covered in blood. She's sexy. Oh my god, she's hot, bro. She she's fit. gorgeous, bro. But anyway, I, I left here and went to a friend's house. Um, yeah. When you left, we watched the rental. How was that? Bang average. Bang average. It was like an hour and twenty. That was that was um Raiders, um, choice. Yeah. We well, said he watched it before. It was like it's a good concept, but it was like an hour and twenty building up for ten minutes of action. Yeah. Which was pretty disappointing. So like I said, it was like the trailer was just all the good parts. Nah. Really? Nah. There was decent parts, but it was only like ten minutes of it. Yeah, fair enough. Wouldn't recommend it. Mm. Um, and then we watched. Here's another one after that. Hmm. Fear Street Part 1. Oh, I don't know what that is. You know what Fear Street is? Nope. Watch it. Well, Fear Street. It's three. I can't watch it, by came out, it came out in July, and it's Fear Street Part 1, Part 2, Part 3, and they came out a week after each other. It's a fucking beast movie. Highly recommend. Cool. But anyway. Anyway. Saturday. Saturday. Halloween parties. Halloween parties. Left, right, and center. I had one with my high school mates. How was that? It was good seeing everyone. But I left around, what, nine-ish, and I came to the one you were at, the warehouse. Mm-hmm. Hades 20, was it 20, 21st. 21st, yeah. 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 That was fun. It was fun. Me and you on the decks. <laughs> Just quietly, I had a breakthrough on those decks. It made sense. I was beat yeah. matching and shit. Yeah, you just follow the cubes. It just made sense to me, because normally when I'm like on there and I'm playing and then it's out of thing, I'm like, like, which way do I go? 
I don't know. I couldn't, like, I could never get my head around. Yeah. Should I go forward a bit or backwards well, pretty, a bit? No, you weren't drunk at all. No. And then I was just like, oh, oh, okay. If the other one's behind, then. Yeah. You just yeah. go the other way. Yeah, obviously. If you watch me, bro, I sense. go pretty fast with it. Because then you're like, oh, okay, it's not working. I just go this way. Yeah. You can you can beat match in like five seconds. Yeah. So I got a hang of that and I was mixing some bass line and stuff. And yeah, it was good fun. I had fun. Yeah, it was fun. And then we came back here and we just had a good time. I was buckled, cunt. Yeah, I fell asleep right where I'm sitting. Mm. Um, Are you yeah. at my house? Yeah Welcome to my house Yeah, we couldn't record at my house today Because the theatre room was uh, taken Anniversary so. night Hey? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, couldn't use that Couldn't use my place today But next week we'll be back That's alright I've already put the booking in for next week <laughs> You're going to book it with your dad? Yeah <laughs> So Johnny booked it for next week But yeah, Hades but yeah. was fun She had uh, the inflatable... This inflatable thing, big square, it had like two things in the middle and you hit each other's sticks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got f- fucking hell. You get your concussion from that, I tell you. Mm. Yeah. But that, w- that was fun. Yeah. I saw the video of you taking on Steve and that was funny. Wait, that was fun. Mm. I'm wearing Steve's outfit right now because this is the Halloween special. Yeah, I'm wearing Sonny's. That's my costume. <laughs> you look like a sad boy. I bought them today. You sound like a sad boy. You look like a sad boy. Went to Carousel with Sean today. What? Yeah. Why? I don't know. I, I don't like, like it. You guys hang out. We just fuck you. <laughs> we were just. I was just. He was like out and about. He's like, "What are you doing?" I'm like, oh, "I'm just at home." He's like, "Want to get a fee?" I was like, "Yeah, let's go carry socks. Cause I need to get new work shoes." So I got new Why work you, shoes. What work shoes you get? Just some fucking suit pants shoes things. Oh, smart, smart, from smart. where? H and M. Oh yeah, like thirty, forty bucks. Like that's fucking. That's fuck all. Yeah, and then I bought by accident. I bought two pairs of sunnies. And then is that why you told me you were broke? Fucking dog. No, I'm coming. I'm. I think I might. I might, I might oh, what the fuck? Might cunt. You're so bipolar, cunt. Yeah. Well, I had some things to pay for. I might maybe no. You will maybe no. No, I'm definitely going. No, but I'm saying in an in in terms of in real life, are you will maybe no. So when you say maybe, does it mm, normally mean no or yes? My maybe is normally into depending how I'm feeling, but it normally means maybe that turns into a yes. Okay, so you're maybe yes. Yeah. I'm um, maybe no. If I say maybe, it's more likely I mean no. Because you're a bitch. You're a bitch. I am not a bitch. I'm going Saturday. It's You're gonna be fun. It's gonna be a vibe. I'm gonna look good. If, if it's all black, bro. I'm not missing out on an all black wine tour, which yeah. is the only color I wear. I want, I really do want to go, but I'm, I've got a bills to pay this week. So do I. You didn't even drink. Oh, that's true. Maybe you should ask for a discount. But yeah, um, we need to go shopping Friday as well. For what? Button up, just in case. A button up. Yeah, in Frio. What the fuck do I need a button up for? You have to wear button ups. Yeah. You have to wear a black button up. Yeah. I've got one you can wear if you don't want it. I don't have a fucking black button up. I've I don't have bla- any black button ups. I've got black button ups. I don't have any button ups. I just want a short sleeve one. You can have a long sleeve one. I don't want a long sleeve one. We're going shopping Friday. Okay. What did you do last night? Fuck all. Me? Yeah. I finished Fear Street 2 and 3 again for my third time. So you watch horror movies by yourself? What? What I do you mean? I love horror movies. So you watch them by yourself? Yeah. You're a fucking weirdo. And I watched um Halloween again. I still need to watch Halloween. And then I watched... I want to watch the new one. Apparently it's fucked. What, is it out in cinemas? It's already, it came out last Thursday. No, I can't watch it in cinemas, bro. What? No, I'd be way too scared. You'd be with the boys? No. I'll miss that one. You actually cool. have the biggest vagina here. Yeah, I, dude, I can't watch it. If I'm in my comfort of my own home with somebody, I'm The cool. reason you're saying that is because then you get on your phone. No. You distract yourself. I didn't get on my phone once. What's wrong with the fucking... cinema? It's scary. Yeah, it's loud. That's the point. It's meant to scare you. Horror movies and cinemas are better because it scares you. You're actually a pussy, bro. Yeah, I'm a pussy. So what? Watch the first one. You can take it. I've got it right there on DVD. Or if you need. It's, I think it's on Netflix. And then come to the movies. No. Why? Okay, maybe. It's fucking going to be Maybe. Maybe. I'm a big horror movie fan, everyone. I'm getting Ghost. I am too, but I can't My watch it by myself. My next tattoo is going to be Ghostface. And then after that, it's going to be... I thought you were doing the lighter first. No, I'm getting that tomorrow. You get another one tomorrow. The lighter tomorrow. You motherfucker. And then the next one's going to be Ghostface. And depending how much it is, I might may as well get Michael Myers at the same time. Oh, dope. It's just like the outline of their heads. Mm. And wouldn't mind getting Jason as well. Just to fill up my arm. Put him one here on your cross. One there. Yeah. One there. And then one at the bottom. Yeah. Done. <laughs> I, I love horror movies, bro. So I've actually, I, I could, I'll, I'll watch them before bed all the time. I watch zombie movies before bed all the time. That's weird. What? Look, I respect it, but that's weird. It's bro. not scary, bro. Like, it's like, it's not real. Yeah, but... You got to look at it like... Okay, I can't watch paranormal shit by myself. 
Slashes I can watch by myself. That's fine. I'm a fucking slut for slasher movies, bro. Mm. I love slasher movies. I love the concept of them. I love like... It's just so, so much better mm. than Paranormal. Oh, I like Paranormal stuff. I don't mind devil shit. Like Conjuring's good. And like people complain that Conjuring's not scary enough. It's not meant to be that scary. It's meant to be. I actually watched Conjuring when I went to the house after I was here. Oh, really? Yeah. Because it's... um. It's got a good story to it because it's based on like true true events. True events. So like, I don't think they're going for like ultimate scary movie because mm. people are like it's a horror. It's meant to be scary. Like no, like actual horror movies can have a good storyline to mm. it. Insidious. Good storyline. Fucking oath gun. The first one was a good storyline. Mm. But also, as the thing is, you get older, movies aren't scary anymore. Yeah. You know, back in the day, like that's why, like I was watching. Um, so there's a TV show on Netflix called. Movies that made us, right? Yeah. They just released horror ones. So it's about Halloween, fr- Friday the 13th, um, Nightmare on Elm Street, all that kind of stuff, right? And how they were made. So Halloween was the first one of like to boost horror movies because 1978, right? And it was like, and it made other movies, like other studios make horror movies, right? Mm-hmm. Because 1978, there wasn't really any slasher movies besides Psycho. That was fuck all. Like the concept, like you didn't have phones, you know, to like distract you like you had to watch it like there wasn't really anything like it like it, like back then it would be scarier now like everyone's seen everything yeah true like what else can you bring up that, that makes you scary creatures aren't scary paranormal shit's just fucking boring now like devil shit's it's just too much occurrence mm. <clears throat> you gotta make it fucked up and then people complain because it's too fucked up yeah that's true and then like so then like they're gonna have to start making me be like oh if, if you're mentally unstable you can't watch this mm. Because there's movies out there, definitely on Netflix, that are fucked up. Yeah. That would fuck someone in the head, for sure. Mm. So, you know, there's pe- it's just a constant um, state of unsatisfaction for people, I feel like. Yeah, that's what you mean. And then girls are just too much of a pussy to watch them. Girls? Yeah. I'm not a girl. I'm you basically are. No, nah, it's actually a lie. I actually started figuring out oh, there's a few girls that do like horror movies. What are you? Stop being bland with me, cunt. <laughs> I was about. I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting for you to finish because I have a question for you. Okay, have a question. What topic? Because we're talking about horror movies. Yeah. Uh, my, I wrote it down today in my notes. What's okay. your favorite horror movie? Mine. Yeah. Of all time. All time. Like, do you mean like scary or like just just like if someone said to you, "We're watching a horror," okay, it's everything. It could be slasher, paranormal, everything under all the categories. Just De- a general horror. Definitely story. would have oh, to say. Really? I've always loved the concept of um, Nightmare on Elm Street. I'd definitely have to say, hands down, as a kid growing up, when I figured out I actually kind of like horror movies mm. and they weren't that bad, I watched Nightmare on Elm Street. Like, it freaked me out. Yeah. Because um, I've always loved zombie movies as well. I'm a sucker for them. But Nightmare on Elm Street, just like the concept of like going to sleep and that's the only way it can kill you. Mm. You need sleep. That's fucked. Mm. Being scared to sleep is fucked. That, I think, is just an awesome concept. Yeah, it's a it. dope concept. It is a dope concept. And, you know, me growing up, they started remaking Nightmare on Elm Street, um, Friday the 13th, Scream. Also, I'd have to say Scream's up there just because I love Ghostface and just the way they portray him. But best concept, definitely Nightmare on Elm Street. I agree. I haven't seen Nightmare on Elm Street yet, though. I haven't seen a lot of the older ones. Mm. So I've seen it. Like all of them. Like if I, if someone if someone said to me, "What's your favorite horror movie?" My favorite horror movie. You're gonna laugh at me for this, but I love Paranormal Activities, all of them. Yeah, I, I just love them. I think it's a lot of a build up for fuck all. Yeah, it is. But I just love. I do see the concept as freaky as fuck. Yeah, I would have to say the best Paranormal Activity was the one with the Mexicans in it. I think it's number five. Have you seen that one? Yeah, I don't, I've seen all of them. Yeah, I think you I know, know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, I know which one you're talking about. Yeah, my favorite one's the first one, bro. First one? Yeah, the yeah. very first it's one. It's a classic. I would have to say it's The a director's classic. cut, though. Have you seen that one? No, I haven't, actually. Bro, at the end... This is a spoiler. If you haven't seen it by now, you're a fucking loser, but whatever. Um, at the end... Um, is it more fucked? It's so fucked. She has a knife and she slits her throat in the camera. And that's the end. That's all. One thing that makes me cringe the most is people getting... Same, that, bro. Bro, if, when Same, it happens and shit, I, like, <laughs> grab it, bro. Yeah. Um, I hate that shit. Probably, like, recently... I'd definitely have to say Fear Street... Has to be one of my. I favorite. have to watch it. It's definitely one of my favorite. What I mean, it's not scary slasher, but it's fucking like mind bending. You're like, I did not see that coming. Right. Um. But I'm a big fan of all the classics like Halloween, 
Nightmare on Elm Street Friday, or Jeepers Creepers. Yeah. All those classic kind of shit like that. Love that shit. Scream has to be up my favourite, like, as well, like. Yeah. I've got a lot of ones I need to watch. But yeah. The thing is, like, I like real life. Okay, so, like, Nightmare on Elm Street, the concept's cool, right? But I'm a sucker for Scream and Halloween because they're real people. Right. They're not... It's like, Jason's cool, but he's not real. He's not like a human. He's fucking something Yeah, I see what you mean. He's something else. He's like a creature. We're like Michael Myers and, um, you know, Ghostface are just real human beings. Yeah. Which make it, you know... It gives you that suspense. Mm. So, like, in, like, Halloween, like, they made it... There wasn't really blood and gore back then. It was more... He'd like you'd see him in your left eye corner of a window mm. watching, and it wanted to, they wanted to make you freak out to walk to your car, yeah, kind of shit. Mm. So that's what I love. What's your take on the Saw movies? I love them. Yeah, me too. I do love them as well. I love the one with um, Chester Bennington in it, the lead singer of Lincoln Park. He's, oh, he's is that his... five? Uh, oh, no, that's... I think it's like the third Because I remember when that came out and everyone went nuts for it. Yeah, because he's he in the in car it. and he's glued to the seat. Yeah, yeah. that was fucked. It was nuts. I remember because I was pretty young. I'm pretty sure that's five. Was it? Five or six. I don't think it was that late. I swear it was. I don't think it was. The saws are good. Yeah, I like the saws. I've always like... I was sick. scared to watch the saws as a kid. And Bro, got... do you know which one made me cringe so hard? You know when she... There was... The one where they're trapped with the needles and stuff and the chick falls into the pit of needles. Oh, yeah. That's the newish one, isn't it? Oh, I don't think yeah, so. so. I know what you're talking about. But though. yeah, but there's a scene in that one where you have to reach into this box and grab the yeah, key. That's but, the, but the fucking the maze. blades. It's the like, maze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. It's, she's stuck. The only way she can get her hand out, she pulls and it out. And they've got numbers on the back of their neck. Yeah, yeah she yeah, rips yeah, all yeah. the skin and shit off her hand. Yeah, and that, oh. and that chick falls into the pit of needles. Kind yeah, of. bro. Oh, oh yeah, can't. fuck that. Yeah, Fuck like that. I don't like. I just remember like the first one when I watched it, because I watched that like not. I didn't watch that first. I watched like a newer one, and then there's a concept of like the cop trying to figure out. Yeah, all this and you're watching the people getting killed, and then bang, they've been dead for actually months, mm. and he gets trapped. And now you're like, no fucking way. Mm. Fun fact about Saw: Did you know? Saw was actually made from college kids for a film pro- uh, project. At really? S- at college. The first one? Yeah. That's the best one, probably. Yeah. Fuck, that's crazy. Yeah. That's the one with, that's the one, the original one where they're stuck in the bathroom. Yeah, setting, and, and they chop off his... their leg off and yeah. shit. Yeah, that's, that's um, that was made wild. by some college kids for a, a college project I for a film do thing. Do you reckon they got banked Oh, they're rich as fuck well, look at that. They're milking it, bro Literally, There's a new one every three years Like Spiral came out this year with Chris Rock I haven't even seen that Yeah, I haven't seen it yet I'm actually being li- meaning to rent it I don't even know if I've seen Samuel Jackson and new- Chris Rock in the new one. Oh fuck That'd be all right. I don't know how it is though I haven't looked at any I don't really look at reviews Nah, re- reviews are <laughs> Like Eternals Yeah Getting they're... the lowest rate We're going to find out Thursday Oh yeah, we Yeah, I've got work off Thursday Yeah we're going to find out Thursday. Your yeah, reviews are very, like, subjective. You know what they are? They're literally them going, oh, so with Black Widow, right? Mm. Have you watched it yet? I have, yeah. What did you reckon of it? Really good. I reckon it was really good. The CGI was so perfect. Every The action. Did a bit of a shit story. Like, the way it ended. A bit shit. It's just, it fits in the timeline perfect. Yeah, it does. Yeah, There's, like, no right. other re- way around it. I think it was awesome. I thought the story was fine. And how they did the family thing, and she actually had a family. Bro, the sister. The sister is. Oh my god! Do we see her again? Yeah, she's a part of the Dark Avengers. Dark Avengers. Have I told you about them? I know about them. So but it's. Is the, that a thing coming out? Yeah, they're forming. So, um, if you seen Falcon Winter Soldier, what's his name? Which one? The bad guy, the bad Captain America, John. Is it? Name? Oh yeah, he's not. Um, yeah, I know yeah. what you mean. Anyway, yeah. so he, so you know that chick that comes in in the end of Black Widow and talks to her. At yeah, yeah. The grave? That's that's Mother Hydra, right? Yeah. And she's forming the Dark Avengers. They're called something else, but I can't remember. I can't remember. Out of the out of the Civil War, he's in Falcon Winter Soldier. They break him out of prison. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, I can't remember his name. Anyway, so it's him, the bad chick out of Ant Man Two. Yeah, Red Hulk, Oblivion, Ooh. um, Black Widow's sister, the guy from. But how does Black Widow's sister fall into that? Because she wants to kill Hawkeye. 
And Mother Hydra tells her that like Oh at the end. Yeah. At, at the, the end. gravestone. Yeah. Of course. And there's um That makes so much sense. Yeah. And Deadpool's meant to be in it as well, but that's in the comics. Yeah. Right. Okay, cool. But anyway, yeah, so the the reviews were saying that Black Widow was really bad because what the critics wanted was how she became Black Widow, which they basically do tell you. They wanted Black an origin Widow. story. They want an origin story, right? Yeah. So you can't criticize a movie on how you wanted it. When you're meant to review a movie, it's meant to be on the movie you fucking got, not what you wanted, right? Facts. You're not every person in the fucking world. Hmm. So that's what I hate about people criticizing Marvel movies. They want to be like, I wanted this and this. Well, you, it's not you. Base the movie what you watched. It was nuts. It was cool. It fit perfect. All right. Like, there's really nothing bad you can pick about it. In every Marvel movie, I've never had something to pick on. Nothing. Nothing. I've never... I don't think any of the movies are bad. No, no. None of them are bad. I don't... I don't see any of them should be below 75% Rotten Tomato percentages. Hmm. So, I don't but know... you got to remember, you are a diehard fan. Exactly. But... And a lot of these critics are not... They're just so why are they rec- why are what, they what they review is storyline, um, CGI, and like acting, acting uh, casting. What they thought it's, it's never any. They don't take into account timelines of MCU. They don't take away. They don't. They don't do anything. Yeah, like but like that, just bro. don't criticize the music of what you wanted though. You you you're there to review the movie, not the everything else that comes with it. Yeah, not what yeah. you wanted. Yeah, I can understand. You could put your comment in there. But you don't base the movie off what you wanted. You didn't get it. Mm. Okay, same. I was shocked as well when it was there, but I didn't care. Mm. But um, I've heard Eternals is slow because it's more character building and finding out who the characters are because they're brand new. Yeah. And, you know, so it's a two and a half, it's nearly a three hour movie, right? Yeah. So I could see an hour and a half of it being finding the characters. Which talk- is fine. Yeah, which is awesome. Dude, I'm not expecting much from Eternals. I'm really not. Yeah. We just had Shang Chi. That was fucking insane. Yeah. Right. But Eternals is going to be like, like you said, a character development. Like, there's nothing, nothing crazy is going to happen in this. Yeah. Because I feel like they're going to base, aren't they going to base the future movies around this a little bit? I think so. I'm not too sure. I haven't really looked into it because I don't want to spoil it too much. Yeah. I feel like when we watch them, we get to watch the two end credit scene. I feel like this no. will be like, the Avengers one. Yeah. It's like. Character building. Character building. Not much fighting. Not much fighting. There'll be a big battle. There'll be a yeah. big battle and then they'll just slowly just... I have a funny feeling off. this is their only movie. Really? I don't know if though. If it's their only movie, that's kind of disappointing. I feel like they'll kill them off. This is too powerful. Yeah, but that's the whole point. Isn't the next villain meant to be stronger than fucking Thanos? Kang? Yeah. Yeah, he's making some shit on him. True, well, you, you, you are right. Okay. All right. We'll find out. Yeah, I'm we'll keen see. to watch it. Oh, we can't turn this into a nerd out. We yeah. can't turn this into a nerd out. I feel like a lot of our friends that aren't nerds are going to not like it. But anyway, anyway we're going gonna, gonna, gonna to stop the, the nerd talk because we do have a nerd out coming very soon. Yeah. After Eternals. Yeah, we'll see how we go. Maybe we'll do a double ep. We might, have to we do might split up an episode. Or we could do one full one when Spider-Man comes out because that comes out not too far away. December 1? 17th. 6th. Oh, keep an eye. We've got Venom 2 actually. Yeah. In two weeks I'm not really excited for Venom Really? I'm really not Carnage is going to be fucking off. Okay we've got to stop talking about it Yeah Venom. Carnage be not Anyway right. anyway, I have a question Before we move on Yep Um, On the topic of Because we are doing A Halloween episode Technically Yep Even though we're not dressed up I you am. are but What's that my dude? Dude we were going to do A full costume Like everything But we just could not be fucked And then our plans went to shit But anyway I look good I don't know about my you My question for you Is have you had Any like paranormal slash ghost encounters before? No. Nothing. No, I know you have. Yep. Nah, like, nah. Nothing at all? I don't reckon nothing at all, eh? I nothing re- you've gone, fuck, that's very odd. Nothing? Nah. Really? Nah, I don't reckon, eh? Do you believe in it? I feel like... I feel like people who are who don't believe it in it are less likely to believe... That they've experienced something You know what I mean? I wouldn't say I definitely do think There has to be Something You can't kill energy No I feel like there's gotta There's gotta be something out there Like paranormal mm. I don't think Lauren and The rain were fucking bullshitting Yeah I just um Don't understand why it hasn't blown up Enough But I feel like a lot of people don't care Or don't want to know Yeah Um, I do believe there's shit out there 
Oh, for sure. There has to be, right? There has to be, right? Because there has to be demons. You literally yeah. can't kill energy, bro. You literally can't. It can only be transferred. Yeah, I'm hundred percent think there would be shit out there. I just don't think I've encountered. What about your ideas of like aliens and shit? Oh fuck! I'm gonna, nah. Do you do you reckon there's aliens, but they're not as how we deceive them? Like we don't. They're not gonna be green people, if that makes sense. They're just gonna be like. I don't a think there's aliens. At all. Do you know how what? big this fucking universe is? Yeah. Well, I don't think there's aliens coming here. Yeah, that's what I, I feel th- like. There's definitely. I've oh fucking oath. I feel like. Something so far out of our reach we could probably never go to in our lifetime mm. is definitely shit out there. Yeah, that's what I've always said. Like, I feel, why the fuck would they come here? If they're making it to us, they'd obviously already have technology I feel like that's people, more developed. I feel like there's another planet out there that they don't know we exist. And they'll probably say the same shit about us. Yeah. I feel like what we don't have... How do we not have the technology to see that far? Why haven't they sent someone out that far just to go and see if they come along any other planets? Mm. Like... I definitely don't think we're anything in this universe, but fuck, could you imagine like how far yeah, this universe far. could actually go? It's far. It's far. How fucking weird is that? Like, just think about it. Like, I don't want to think about it. Like, like how so fucking far do you shit. think that universe goes, bro? It doesn't have an end, bro. It doesn't have an end. What is it? it now you've got my brain end. thinking. What is it up there? It does nothing. What is up there? It's nothing. Why is that up there? <laughs> I reckon, do you know what I think? I reckon if you keep going far enough, you end up just doing a big fucking loop back to where we are. <gasps> That's how far we'll go. There's no end. Well, this makes no sense, bro. There's no end, bruv. I'm actually losing my mind over this right now. You've got me thinking. It's like, say, okay, for example, this is a good little analogy. If you stand, if you just say, say there's nothing on the planet. There's nothing on the planet at all, right? It's just land. Yeah. If you walk straight, eventually you end up in the same spot. Yeah. That's what I reckon. What Do you reckon is. God made us? No. I reckon the Big Bang was real. Well, yeah, obviously. Um, I came from a Catholic background. Yeah, so did I. Um, and as I've gotten older and I've studied human biology and blah, 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 it makes more sense logically that evolution is what made us who we are today. So. How fucking wild is that though? But do you see what I mean? Yeah, though? no, 100%. It's if, if you're walking on the planet and you keep walking, you eventually end up in the same spot. That's exactly what I think fucking space is like. It's just a lot big, fucking bigger, obviously. So if you keep going, you'll end up back where you started. That's what I mean. It's like, fuck, bro. Like, wild. I just want to know how far we can go. Like, I don't know. Why can't we see any further? Someone needs to go to Pluto, sit the fuck down. And take that telescope we can see Pluto on and see what else we can see. But... Because how far is Pluto? A, a long way. How far is Pluto? A long way. How long, long do you reckon it'll take you to get there? Well, I can't remember how long it takes takes to get to the moon. It takes three months. Three months? And I think Mars takes ten years. So Pluto would be like fucking... But time is different wait. up there. Yeah, but time's not different here. Yeah, but up there... So yeah, up up there it'll feel like twenty minutes, no, but here it'd be still fucking six hours. If that makes sense. You'd get there and you'd lose everything, but other people could take over the project. Mm. Just monitor you as you go. But you, I don't reckon you would die on the way to Pluto. You definitely would die. You reckon? Yes. It's three months Earth, right? But up there it's different. You, I don't think you age as much as you do up there than down here. I feel like because you know people have gone up there and been identical twins and come back not identical. And people have gone up there with like different eye colours and come down with different eye colours. Really? Yeah. Have you not heard of that? No. Yeah. That's fucked. Yeah. Like there's been people go up there and they've gone like, um, they've had like green eyes and come down with blue eyes. That's fucked. No one understands why. Well, the UV rays would be stronger up there. Um, there's nothing protecting you, like no atmosphere. Oh, really? What? How long? 12.5 years. That seems about right. How long? I said Mars was 10. Mars, Mars is, is not 10 years. I thought you said... Oh, maybe it's five. To Mars? That's the next planet along, isn't it? Yeah. I want to go to Saturn. Why? It's to be sick to look at. It's like, a, it's got a ring? How nuts is that? Why don't we have a ring? I know it's just gas. You can go straight through the ring. I think the whole planet's gas. 
Yeah, every planet is just gas. What? Even ours. But I think you can go straight through. Yeah. S- Satan, Satan, Satan. 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 But how sick is that? It's got a ring? Yeah. Why don't we have sick. a ring? It is sick. Um, oh. Mars will take about seven months. Yeah. What? Why haven't we not gone there then? We have. Yeah, but robots have, not humans. Yeah, because they're tra- they're testing if it's if it's um capable of living on. How many? Oh, yeah, actually, planets. Of a th- theory that I would like to share with you. You listening? Yeah. Put your fucking phone down. I'll smack One you in the billions. face. One of billions, fucking bitch. There's billions of planets, apparently. Yeah, fucking. How small do you think the universe is, bruv? I don't fucking know. We only know up to Pluto, bruv. Sorry, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah, I get what you're saying. But anyway, here's a theory, 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 theory. Sorry, I read a theory that Mars used to be Earth, but we fucked it up so bad, like how we're fucking up this Earth, that it's so like, it's like a big desert now. And I read that basically we used to live on Mars, but because it got so fucked up, we had to jump to Earth and live on Earth. And now we're doing the opposite and going back to Mars. It's the stupidest theory I've ever heard. Why is it stupid? How? How would no one know? Bruv, if the government didn't want us to know something, we wouldn't know about it. How would you transplant... Transplant? Transfer a whole planet of people to Earth and nobody knows about it. Why do you think there's scientists studying on how to do that right now? Why is Elon trying to fucking move people there? You know what? That's out of our pay grade. Exactly. That's exactly what I'm trying to say. I need to, to go to that fucking Dallas airport first before I figure that out anything else out. Denver. Denver. Yeah. That shit's boss. That's fucked, eh? I want to go underneath. I hell want it. That'd be boss. Bro, the fucking statue is a satanic horse. Search up Denver airport horse and tell me that shit's not fucking demonic, bro. Can you see it? Let me see. It's not. That's not really... That's huge. Look at it, bro. It's got red eyes. Where is it? Is that the front? Yes. Oh, that thing's huge. Yes. Holy crap. Fucking, it's so shady, bro. I reckon America is so fucking shady. Everything's so shady. It doesn't make sense. They do things so differently over there. That's a sick horse. It is a sick horse, but fuck me, dude. That's Satan. There's something, a horse symbolizes something in something. I can't remember what it is. The demons of horse. Right here. What? Is it a demon? The, why would you put that in the airport? Are you fucking kidding me? What? Why would it matter? What do you reckon's underneath then? Underneath? Yeah. I already told you what's underneath. What? Hell. You're gonna tell. No, it's a fucking. It's a headquarters. Yeah, it's like. So a, why does a demon? Apparently, it's the headquarters of the Illuminati or some shit. I, I, oh, you should watch Inside Job. I think I've seen it. It just came out on Friday. I think I haven't seen it then. Yeah, cause, no, watch it. It's a cartoon show. It's just, it's funny. But it's about... Oh, I know what it is. I know it's, what it's, on. Info- it's on Netflix. Yeah, yeah, it's on the Inside Job of Illuminati. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. so funny. I'm up to the third episode. Why are people making shit like that, though? Because it's How mistake. do people get these ideas for it not to be real? Because it's Okay, here's one for you. Why the fuck do people think aliens are real, right? If we've never seen them. If we never seen them, Because right? some cunt lost his shit on acid and fucking looked at the stars. Like, there's got to be something out there. Let's call them aliens and made them look funny. Dude, an idea doesn't start off without visualizing something. Yeah. How did someone come up with computers? That's a good point. I'm not saying it's not true, but you could definitely look up there and be like, there's something out there. So heaven and hell. That's been made the by The only us. thing I'd say it's shady is the Egyptian writing, bro. Because that shit, they've got cats of human shit, people. And ho- like... The pyramids weren't built by humans, bro. No. That's a... Like... Man, we must have... Like, if you're saying that, right, why don't we have superheroes? Maybe we kill them at birth. Why? They could make the world better. Maybe they're, maybe they're being hidden. Maybe. But I feel like they'd be hard to hide. Someone's got to crack. Unless they have put them in under Denver airport, holding them. You get what I'm saying? I get what you're saying, You yeah. say, like, okay, so why is someone thinking about Superheroes aliens? are a concept. Okay. So aliens. Exactly. We don't know. Yeah. We don't know if anything's real, dude. We don't even know if paranormal stuff's real. I hate us so much. Yeah, I know shit. 
The thing is, Fuck. like, <laughs> you, <hear that? laughs> you sound like Wheezy from Toy Story. <laughs> Bye, Woody. <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah. Now I'm just too deep in this shit. Fuck. Well, like, yeah. We we needed to have a conspiracy theory episode. I I would. There's something I need to rewatch episode two in the inside job. They pick at little things. And they're fucking like, it goes for a second, right? Or two mm. seconds. It's a joke. Mm. And you pick up on it. You're like, holy fuck. Did not think of that. Like, yeah, I need to watch it. I was going to watch it the other watch day. Watch it. On episode two, they make a little joke about something and you're like, whoa. Okay. I'm definitely going to watch it tonight then. Yeah. They're like, there's little jokes like that all through the episodes about theories. There was like, oh, we've got to get rid of the, the crop circle department. <laughs> Just put circles instead of different shapes. Yeah, yeah. And they've got like the cloning room. They've got like heaps of... Hero. Like the first episode is them changing the president into a robot, and then he gets overdrive and starts trying to destroy the world. Donald Trump. It's not Donald Trump. It's random. Well, that's what I'm saying. Donald and the next Trump. one's J- JFK, a clone gets released, and he releases all the JFKs out and turns like a mutant. <gasps> and he's like, "Err." Thanks for ruining that. Well, no, like I haven't told you what happens. <laughs> anyway, do you know we've only um, discovered one percent of the ocean floor? I think it's three now. It doesn't really matter, dude. Still, I don't, oh, no, can't. shit. Bro. So you still got 97%. That's why I don't like swimming in the fucking ocean, cunt. Me neither. I don't know what the fuck's in there. Me neither, bro. Could you imagine watching the deep dark of the end? Bro, you said those fish, they have the fucking. You know bro, they're f- fucked. They're the, fucked. the ones from no, no, Fighting no. Nemo? Yeah. Bro, that's they look fucked. They fucking piranhas, bro. Fucked. Do you know piranhas actually won't kill you? Really? Yeah, I, heard, I read something that they, they're not gonna. They're less likely to eat you or some shit. Why is there a... Some, I watched some video of a guy sticking his hand in a tank of them and he didn't even go for them. They what didn't if you draw go blood? Yeah, you draw blood. It's like a shark. A shark will eat the fuck out of you though. Even if you're not... So like, you're saying piranhas don't kill you unless you... I don't think they're... I think they're... They, they'd still attack the fuck out of you if you like... What's the word I'm looking for? Like, attack them. Like if you're like yeah, if you know what I mean. Like, like if, 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 if you're yeah, if they're threatened, they'll I'll attack you. Yeah, it's like a shark. Shark won't fucking eat you unless you do something stupid or you look like something that eat, like a seal or some shit. Hey Siri, how many people have died from piranha attacks? Girl eaten by piranhas. How common are piranhas? A six-year-old girl got eaten. Small target. Hectic. I oh, know, I watched that movie Prana when I was young and it freaked shit out of me. Yeah, bro. I bought them both, hey. They were still on my Apple TV. Bro, I, w- I watched Piranha. Oh, this one looks fucking weird. Piranha Double D? Yeah. Bro, have you seen the first one? I've got them All both. All it is is just booze, bro. It's yeah. fucking sick. So, bro, <laughs> now, the first one was sick. I remember me and my cousin watched it. My cousin Daniel, me and him watched it when we were about 13, 14 years old. And we were just like... Fan yell over the titties. It was fun. Good times. Yeah, I loved them movies when I was a kid because all the titties. And then that naked girl gets eaten and the titty falls out and shit. Yeah. Um, there's two attacks here in the last 10 years. So two out of 10 years. Mm. So it's not very common. No. Mm-hmm. One was a girl and one was an 18 year old girl. Wild. Anyway. Um, mm. Yeah, fuck the ocean. Fuck the ocean. Fuck space. Fuck the ocean. Fear of the unknown. Me and Dalton went into an episode like six or some shit. Way back when. I don't remember it. it was the, literally, the title of the episode's um, Fear of the Unknown or something. Well, we can shit. do one. We can talk about it. We can go deep. Well, we basically already have. Oh, well, yeah. Well, we went for We haven't even yet. gone into topics and shit yet. Yeah, so we better get onto it. Yeah, let's do it. Um, do you have anything you want to bring to the table before yes. we jump in? All, All right. right. So, now... When you talk about Harry Styles getting added to the MCU. Harry Styles? Harry Styles getting added to the MCU. Now. Who is he playing? Thanos' brother. Oh, for fuck's sake. He's, a he's good, not bad. He's, he's good. Yeah, he's God of love. And Harry Styles is playing him. Yeah. So, like, he's, like, he's, he's basically the sex god. Fuck off, man. Should have been me. Fuck off. <laughs> Instead of flame on. 100% Harry Styles used to be a dweeb before he was fucking... Yeah. Harry Styles was me Before He was a dweeb Little fucking loser he's Guarantee still, it still a dweeb Harry Styles is not a dweeb now You Me? Yeah Exactly I never said it wasn't 
That's what I'm saying. Harry Styles was me, a little fucking loser dweeb. Yeah. And now he's being frothed over because he's got a couple of fucking followers and a good voice. And he's handsome as fuck. He's dog. handsome as fuck. Fucking cunt. Well, that, he doesn't look like he used to. Obviously, when you get rich, when you get famous and rich... You and can, you grow up, bro. You can literally work on your body. How old was he when he fucking popped off? Like I, think 17? They were like, I think they were all like 17, 18. Yeah. But like, when you get rich and famous, you're obviously going to get your own personal trainer, eat healthier. New teeth. Yeah, like you can afford all this shit. Motherfuckers. Bro, as soon as I'm rich, bang, all my teeth are coming out and getting fakes. You're getting fucking veneers? Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't mind doing that. Yeah. But I'd be too scared to. Just do it. I'd probably just get fucking braces again. No, fuck that. Um, the Yeah, I think he's probably good. He's good for it? I think so. I don't think he's good for it. God of sex and shit. He's probably Depends perfect. how they're going to depict him. Yeah. Is he serious or is I he a jokey he, character? Do you reckon he'll keep his British accent? Because if he's British accent, I don't think he'll be hot. He'll keep the British accent. Fuck, I hate that shit. Do you know what? Harry Styles is a very good actor. Is he? He's in um, Dunkirk. What's that? The story of Dunkirk. It's called Dunkirk. It's a World War Two film. Oh, is he in it? Yeah, he's in it. Okay. Dunkirk. He's a very good actor. Okay. He played the role very well. Okay. Even though there was barely any talking in it. Uh, fair enough. But he was fucking good. I think I think he's perfect for it. Really? Yeah. I don't think he is. Who else would you pick? Ryan Reynolds. No. Nah, he's too old. He's too old? Yeah. God of love and sex. He's too... He's, Ryan Reynolds is the most handsome bloke on the planet, He's 20... Bro. He's 40-something. He's dead. Jake Gyllenhaal. You can't see him as a different person anymore. But that's what I'm you saying. You need someone that's going to be like the dopey, charming... You know what and I'm, that's Harry Styles. He's going to have his shirt off constantly. He's going to be like, oh, I'm the good Harry Styles is going to have a good board, bruv. Ryan Reynolds is not that dopey kind of thing. I could think Harry Styles can pull off being dopey. Do you get what I'm saying? When you're like, like they're constantly like, oh, bro, no, I'm fucked. You're like, just calm. Like one of those. Yeah. like Harry Styles would not suit that, bro. Calm. I can Harry Styles be calm as fuck. Yeah, but he's not going to be all fucking lovey about it, bro. I could pick Zac Efron. Now that's something we could, yeah. I, I reckon Zac Efron front would be a good part. Yeah, 100%. Harry Styles, he's a no-go for me. No-go? I like him in general. Like, Yeah, I've got but, no problem but with not, him. But not, not for that role. A lot of girls froth over him, though. I wouldn't mind him seeing him as like a, a villain or something, though. Yeah. yeah. I th- what I'm thinking, Harry Styles getting added to MCU, I don't know if he's in the post-credit for the Eternals. He I might be. He might be. We'll find out. How, what about that Donnie that's playing the... um? Because you know Thanos is an Eternal. Yeah, I know that. Yeah. We talked about that. He's he got ex- exiled. Yeah. Mm. Um, who's that Donny from Where the Millers? Who's playing that guy? Oh, uh, who's he playing? He, um, he's playing um Adam Warlock. Yeah, yeah. He had a glow up. He did, bro. Everyone was roasting the shit out of him. Like you're picking this dweeb yeah. to play one of the strongest villains to but hit the MCU. That's because he's told to play that role in the movies he's been in. He's never played a serious role yes. besides one. Well, his eyebrows are fucked. His eyebrows are fucked. He's weird. But he's, that means he'll be perfect for the MCU. But he's going to be gold. Or he won't be gold, actually. I don't know. I was a bit funny about it. Like, I've got... Like, I'm not saying he's ugly. He's ugly. He's not ugly, ugly. Like, he looks better than he used to. I don't think for an Adam Warlock... Because in the comics, he's hot, like he's, blonde, yeah. lush hair. Yeah. I don't... Don't think it was the right cast. I'm not complaining. I'm, I'll be very interested to see how. I'm very the role. interested to see. It. I don't think they picked the right guy because mm. Adam Warlock's actually one of the most powerful. He actually in, what, in the comics takes the Infinity Stones from Thanos. Yeah, right. We're nerding out again. We are. But anyway, can't help it, though. Harry Styles, no go for me. No go. No. All right. But I'm open minded. I'm open minded. I think he's fine. Okay. Well, I'm open-minded to be... I'm open to being... My mind being changed. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. Um, um, you got any question topics? I do, but you can go. You can go. Now, today, I had a friend, message from a friend. It was Haiti. Is it about the Instagram stuff? Instagram? Okay. That's my next topic. Is your next topic? Yeah. Okay, she exposed so- me. Low key. Did she? Yeah, pretty hard. All right. What, did she put in message you or... No, she, she came up to me at her party and told me. She didn't say anything to me. Anyway, <laughs> so... She went out to lunch with her cousin or whatever she is. Sure. She sneezed and missed a, like a little bit of her hand. Oh, no. And a little bit of her sneeze went on Hades' hand and her burger, right? That she oh. was nearly finished. Oh, dear. Now, 
I thought she was like, I'm not going to finish it now. I said to her, I don't see the problem in it if you didn't get the whole sneeze on it, right? Like spit, like she felt it on her hands and her like, and went a little bit on her back. She was nearly finished. She's probably like that much left, right? Now, in the concept of, I think. Do you think it's it's? Would you finish your burger if I sneezed on your burger? Depends how much is left. If like you said, it's just a little bit. I'm not touching it. Well, it was like say like that's a burger. She had like that. It was still like three bites probably. My well, yeah. Anyway, if you sneeze directly on my burger. Like, I didn't mean not, to. Like, no. a, maybe it's like a little bit. But if it's just a little bit, probably just eat it. Or maybe like, okay, so say like I accidentally went, like, dinner was coming, like, bang. It's directly on my burger. Oh, directly on your I'm burger. I'm not fucking eating it. Are you kidding? No. Really? No. If it was an expensive burger, if I'd, I paid... If it was expensive, I'd make if, you pay for what's left. If I... Fuck off. <laughs> if I paid for an $18, $20 burger, right, and you sneezed on it by accident, I'm not letting that shit go to waste because you're my best mate. If it was some like someone I wasn't really close with, it's a different story. Yeah, I'm okay. Do you get what I'm saying? I see what you mean. Certain yeah. people, I'll probably let it slide. Okay, yeah. I see Do you, you get mean. what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm not saying it's okay. I, I'd probably just... I'd, if you sneeze directly on it, no. But if it was just like a little tiny spray, then yeah, I'd probably eat it. Yeah. yeah. But I'm saying if you sneezed on it, right? It wasn't yeah. like any spit or anything on it, but you felt the concept. You're eating that. I'm probably gonna eat, finish it. Okay, cool. That's pretty fucked up. Is it? Like, yeah, I don't that's know. Pretty like, fucked up, dude. Well, obviously, like. So you're saying you're you're that's. I'm not saying like if you were like this far from it and you purposely sneezed on it, I probably wouldn't eat it. So say say it's on the table here, and I've just gone, boom, sneezed. Oh, I'll probably nah. You're not eating it then. It depends how much you got on it. You just said you'd fucking eat it if I sneezed directly on it. Yeah, I would. But like if you did it on purpose like that. No, but say like I'm eating mm. and I'm bang. Oh, like that. Because you do know that her cousin was probably eating too, right? She's just yeah. sneezed. Yeah. She's missed a bit. Means she had food particles oh, in the true. sneeze too, you know? That's fucked. I'm not eating that burger, bruv. I'm sorry, I'm not eating it. No. I might just take the top bun off. Fuck off. No, I'm not eating it. I reckon I'll just take the top bun off. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> too much. Too much for me. I'm not, I'm not eating that. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not People with OCD your right now are going to be like fucking sweating. <laughs> yeah, no shit. No, but it's just like a, it's just like a hygiene thing. Yeah, no, I'm oh, it's still disgusting. Cover your fucking mouth. I always when I sneeze, depending. I go on, underneath. Yeah, I do that. But even if, though it doesn't, if really I'm in a big work. open area with people, I'm warm, and I can't be, don't want to get sneezed in my shirt. I just want me to move away from it and go like fucking ham on the ground. Yeah, because I sneeze a lot. Yeah, you do. <laughs> okay. Well, enough um, that. Okay. Now, so Haiti Haiti exposed the fuck out of me. Here we go. Okay, at her, at party. her party. Yeah, she exposed the fuck out of me. What, when you um, go there? Or? This will make a good TikTok, actually. Okay. Okay, but yeah, she exposed the fuck out of me. So I got there, right? Mm-hmm. Walked in, saying hi to everyone. I come up to you, blah, blah, blah. I'm walking over to Sean. She goes to me, she goes, oh, thanks for coming. Really appreciate it, right? I'm like, no worries. My pleasure. Okay. Mm-hmm. She goes, I have a topic for your podcast. Oh, here we go. Right? And I was like, ooh, okay. Like, what do you got? And she goes, Instagram flirting. Right? I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm very familiar with Instagram flirting. And she goes, yeah, I know. And then she keeps going, I'm like, wait, what? You know. Um, and I'm like, she's like, okay, just let me tell my story. I'm like, okay. They tell my story. Whatever. So, Instagram flirting. If you're not familiar with it. I'm not. Follow with someone. Someone follows you back or vice versa. They follow you, you follow back. You go and like a photo or two. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the other person likes a photo or two. That's how you know, like, all right, I'm on. Boom. Right? Instagram flirting. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Hey, do you guys? No, I know. I know this story. Yeah. yeah. So basically. I think she told me or you told me. Yeah, no. So Heidi goes, see that girl over there wearing that dress? I'm like, I'm like, yeah, she's cute. What? And, and what's your point? She's like, about two days ago, you Instagram flirted with her. That's my best friend. <laughs> did, she, did she flirt back with you? Yeah. Oh, I don't know, actually. I can't remember. Did she like you back? I don't think she did. Well, she I, think, I, think, I think I just did it. That's funny you say it because you just Snapchatted me. Yeah. So oh, Fuck, I, I actually do look weird. <laughs> I got exposed low key. You, <laughs> you're irate. You, I but I do that a lot. You, I do that a lot. I don't, I'm a I don't sucker remember for the it. last time I did that. I don't think I've done it since I've left school. I'm a sucker for it. 
because yeah, I'm a sucker for it. I've I have a, a lot of attractive females that follow me from TikTok and stuff. You probably I've got the same, yes. Yeah. Um I'm not saying I'm a fucking big shot, but yeah, it, no, happens. I, it happens. It happens. I know yeah, I understand. It definitely um, happens. So sometimes they follow me like my pics and if I'm in like if I'm like, Oh, I wouldn't mind a message from you, I'll go and do the same thing. Um but yeah. Instagram flirting. What are your thoughts on it? Childish? Childish as fuck. Yeah. Grow up. It's a little bit childish. I'd probably but, still I'd probably still do it if she was hot. Yeah. Like, I think like it's pretty childish, but it's still gonna get done. Yeah. I think we'll still be It's like the new way. I'd still do it. Yeah. I'd 100% still do it because I'm too bitch to message him. Mm. It's definitely just showing away like saying, like, I'm interested, you're hot, mm. you're good looking, you look nice. Mm. And they do it back and you're like, Shh, cool. It's still not going to message you. See, I'm, I'm not scared to just DM someone. Really not. See, like... I'll just... If, if, if they're showing interest in me I'll, and I think they're cute, I'll just flick them straight a message. Yeah. Like, I don't... See, what well, with me, I'm not looking for anything at the moment. Yeah. I'm not finding my girl that I want to be in a relationship with through Instagram flirting, which True. could be a lie because if they're fucking really good looking, it could be a different story. There you go. But I'm yeah. a sucker for it. I'll just do it. Yeah, I definitely think you would be the guy that would do it. Yeah, hundred percent. I'm looking for those eyes, bro. I'm looking for those fucking deep blue eyes or something. Anyway, <laughs> Haiti, Haiti actually got me. She um. I got there and I was sitting on the couch with Sean and she, she grabbed my neck and f- fucking chucked a jelly, jelly shot down it. Bro, they came out in what you get fucking sauce from a burger place. Smart, she, smart. She comes around and she like had him out and I was like, what is this dipping sauce? <laughs> For what? <laughs> fucking, I don't know. Oh, so <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I got, I got exposed low key, but. Oh, with jelly shots, right? On the topic of jelly shots, mm. I fucking hate dipping my finger in them, bro. Well, and like swishing yeah. around. Yeah, I fucking hate it. I use my tongue. I don't reckon it works sometimes. <laughs> Those ones did. They were perfect for it. The little ones, sometimes they're too stuck in there for your tongue. And I fucking just hate dipping my finger around because then it gets my finger fucking sticky and Aww. my finger's dirty, cunt. Aww. What, do you not care? I don't give a fuck. Can't, you hardly drink anyway, so who cares? <laughs> <laughs> I love a jelly shot though. Yeah. I really do. I reckon they're overrated. No, oh, I fucking love them. I reckon jelly shots are overrated. Except Straight Scott, up, jelly shots are Scott's overrated. Bro, Scott killed me. This is going on the TikTok, by the way. Jelly shots are overrated. Straight facts. Incorrect. What is exciting about them? Everything. Just have a shot. With jelly in it. It's Who doesn't love jelly and who doesn't love vodka? No one likes vodka. Tell, tell me right now, you drink vodka. Straight. I love vodka. Yeah, straight? If I was doing a shot, I'd pick vodka. Okay. But I don't... I don't just, no, you don't... It's like, it's not a fucking... Have Bailey's, bro. Ew. What? How's that ew? Fuck off. <laughs> that was the quickest I could fucking... <laughs> No, but who doesn't love a jelly shot? It's like a normal shot, but you've just added a little something something this in there. This is so overrated, bro. No one knows ratios, bro. Okay. You know what? You tell me off all the time. You're like, oh, you don't drink, blah, 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 blah. Why are you complaining about fucking ratios if you love getting fucked up? Huh? 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 I just drink single fin. It's good. It tastes good. Sing- single fin jelly shots? No. Why not? Because it tastes like shit. Yum. Beer and jelly together. Mmm. Yuck. Cunt. No, you use the you use the beer as the water. So it's just single fin beer. What <laughs> the um, fuck? I'm jelly. <laughs> That's so fucked. With fuck. a bit of vodka. You're fucked. Ooh, yum, yum. Jelly shots overrated. Disagree. Disagree? Disagree. Well, I'm going to get roasted for that. Yeah. A TikTok blowing up. That'd be perfect for it. Correct. I can't wait to see the comments. All right. We're going to smash this question out quickly because we went for way too long. All right. I'm picking the few one out. Ruby said, would you rather be able to change the past or predict the future? I think I'd rather change the past. Why? I don't know. I feel like I like the surprise of the future. I feel like if I predicted the future and I could see where I was going, I'd be too lazy. Yeah. To actually do anything. 
Because you could predict the past, right? No, change the past. Picking lottery number winners. Win, bang, millions of dollars. True. Get what I'm saying? But, but, so if you could change the past, it means from where you're sitting right now, you just go, okay, I want to change this in the past. But yeah. what it mean? what about if you go back in time, but you don't have any knowledge of the future? So how, if you change a lot of numbers, how the fuck would you know? Because I went in the past. So you're going back in time, changing the past and coming back. Is that what you're trying to say? No. So you're going back in time, changing the past. What I would there. do is I would legit buy a lot of tickets f- from yesterday or watch the news when the lottery gets picked, or get on the app and see what numbers got picked, try and travel back one day, put, pick the lottery numbers, bang, done. All the money's mine. So you're changing the past for, um, from, for, for, finan- money. for, from, for financial yes. benefits. Money is everything. Most of it. 70% of I life agree. is money. Money's happiness. I don't care what anyone says. Yeah, 100%. I feel like it's just did. like it's just like a relief of stress. If you have fifty million dollars, no one's gonna tell you what to do. No. So you got no stress. You got no deadlines. Nothing. You got fifty mil. You don't even have to work ever again. No. So you lose that stress, and then it becomes not stress. It just comes straight depression if you're dealing with it. You know what I mean? Well, you just go party, find a wife. Partying doesn't resolve travel. Shit. But that's what I'm saying. If you have yeah. money, you can travel. Yeah. Happy. You can yeah. do things you want. Some do. people just don't know how to do it. Yeah. All right. Yeah, but anyway. Next thing. I didn't say what I was doing. You said you would... Oh, no? Okay, sorry, my bad. Okay. I actually don't know. Yeah, it's no, a hard I'm not one. predicting the future. I'm doing my past for bullshit I'd reasons. probably change the past. I'd probably change the things I'd do in the past. Yeah. Yeah. Talk to this girl I shouldn't have. Yeah. Oh, there's a few of those. Yeah, Fuck, 100%. Let me tell you. All right. If you had one... Oh. If you had to eat one food item for a week, what would it be? Straight up Pizza. pizza. There's no way. We're actually meant to be, cunt. We actually need to lock dicks right now. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> Holy crap. Did we just say pizza at the same time? Yeah. Holy crap, that was hot. Pizza oh, has everything you need. Holy crap, that was hot. <laughs> I'm actually shocked. You know, that was sick, cunt. Give it here. Give me another one. That was beast. Yeah, I'm a pizza dude. I love my pizza. Five dollar pizza from Domino's? Elite. So, there we go. See, we smashed it out. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Well, there's more, but there's no need to bring them up. Okay. Because you and me don't have sex, so we cannot answer that one. Sorry, Caleb. What does it say? Most public place you've had sex. Public place I've yeah. had sex? Yeah. Well, I do have a story for that. Oh, I do have a story for that. You do have a story for oh, that. Well, God. I have a story for that, so... You want to go first? Yeah. Yeah. I have done it in the back of a car. I was... Okay, so mine is... <laughs> Fuck's sake. Mine was in a behind a chook pen. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was blasted, bro. I was fucked. Oh, fuck. So same kind of thing happened. I hardly remember it. Okay. But it definitely happened. Yeah. Before. I've gone with the chick in front of the butcher shop before. But I didn't fuck her in front of it. How? How? A butcher shop. Yeah, butcher shop. This is in front of the shop. So you had sex behind a chook pen? And you go with a chick in front of a butcher shop. Yeah. Are you okay? And who are these girls you're hooking up with? <laughs> <laughs> these are back in my um my, my bad days. When I was a little menace. Yeah. Mm. I was a round wow. But yeah, we really don't really have that much sex, do we? I don't find it that exciting. I do, but I like I don't know. I don't know. Like I, I just can't, can't really be like I don't like I I literally said it before and I'll say it again. Like I don't think sex is that great without feelings. Yeah. Women don't like me, bro. Huh? I, I said it last week. Women don't like me. Same, but I don't really try. So, actually, at our last night, I was walking down the stairs, going down to the da- dance floor, mm-hmm. and some chick goes, "Oh, hello." Right? Oh. And I she look. Hot? She was very cute, and I don't know if she, if she, if you're watching this, I know you know who you are, but I have no idea who she is. But she was cute. Um, but yeah, mess with me if you know. Me <laughs> me, I did um, have I did have a question for you about Sunday sessions, but I don't know if you want to wait. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it after this, but um, yeah, so she says, oh, hello. And I've looked, like I've heard it. And she goes, oh, fuck. So I know she's talking oh. about me. So I know she's talking about me. You sure? But I gave her one, I gave her like a smile, like, a, like it's okay. Like, and I just kept walking. Uh. And then I walked past her again later on in the night and she just gave me the biggest smile. Like, but I didn't stop because I was going, we were leaving. Fair enough. I, like, yeah. I don't know. I've just like never tried when I go out. Like I don't. I don't go out tr- it, with the idea of I'm going to find a female tonight. Yeah. Never. Never. I just go out and have a good time. Yeah. And if it happens, it happens. I, yeah. 
I, if I'm full fucked, I think I've definitely tried before. Mm. And then I'm just like, can I get that fucked up? I forget I'm actually trying and then just do something mm. else. Mm. It's like, especially it's something like filth or something, you try and flirt with a girl. Cause you know, like we know, we know a lot of people there. You can easily get distracted like that. Yeah. Facts. Same with medis. Yeah. You easily get distracted. Mm. I've got a question for you because you, you've been on a lot of Sunday sessions. I wouldn't mind signing into him mm-hmm. if I don't go on a Saturday and die. But pussy, what? I'm gonna ask you: Do you see a lot of the same people at Sunday sessions? Yes. Like people like you go to like. See, so my question was: Do you think the same people go to Sunday sessions all the time, kind of like dubstep events? Yes. Do you get what I'm saying? Yes. So you go to dubstep events like Filth and stuff. It's normally the same. Mm sort of people, people or people from the same because you go to dubstep and you see faces and you've seen them before at other dubstep yes. things DNB you've seen them there before yes you know do, do you remember you- there was a guy I don't know if you had noticed him before but when I first started going to filth events and dub events there was always a guy with a massive fucking afro and he was everywhere no you don't remember that maybe all I remember from my he- early days of going to filth events was a guy with a fucking afro yeah like what similar to what you're wearing now oh really yeah, that's hot. Maybe if I went back in the days to get hell fucked up at the events. Yeah, I used to remember the music, but like that's yeah. what I was gonna ask you. Do you like you go to a Sunday sesh? There's familiar you go, faces. You go to Arba sure. or you know OBH. OBH. Do you see a lot of the same people? Yep. Interesting. Same for metros on a Saturday. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. Like it's different because Sunday's kind of like. I'm probably that guy. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like you know what I, I mean? wouldn't mind in Sunday. Someone sessions. will be like, "Oh, I know you." But I see you at Metro's on Saturday every fucking yeah. week. Because like I, you know, going on Saturday, I get fucked up and sit. Well, going on a Sunday, I feel like I can control myself and just actually enjoy. That's why I like Sunday sessions. Yeah, so what I actually tr- have a few drinks at Sunday sessions. Yeah. Like last night I had a couple. What time did you get home? About 11. Oh, I'd say that's what I mean. Perfect. Mm. I'd have to go to Sunday sessions, come home at 11. But we left early because some shit happened, but. But yeah, but anyway, I'll that's why I was wondering. Same pe- kind of yeah, people. same, same, always the same culprits. Yeah, nice. But yeah, song of the week, Vinny. Song of the week. You want to go first? You know? No, I don't know, but you can pick one. I'm gonna go Rainbow Mac Miller. Rainbow Mac Miller. Yeah, he's not bad. He's smashing it out. Yeah. Yeah. Mine is uh, it's a TikTok song. There you go. But I really fucking like it. Yeah. Meet me at our spot. By the anxiety. It's got Willow Smith in it. Well, like Will- Willow Smith, we got a vibe. She's still making music. Oh uh, yeah, kid. I know that song. It's the kid. Yeah, it's his, Will Smith's kid. Yeah, I know. But she made that song ages ago. Yeah. With my hair back and forth. <laughs> my hair back. Oh shit! There we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's my song of the week. All right, Don Love. Don's episode, mate. That was fun. Y- you were very not energetic this I'm episode. I'm very tired, dude. Well. You know, I know I suck When we come to a podcast You need to this act is sometimes You have to be a good actor Sometimes maybe good Sometimes maybe shit you need to- Sometimes maybe good Sometimes maybe shit You said you were excited To film today I was And then you're tired I now I am Be excited next time I just Put like on a co- face I act. like your company <laughs> some, some episodes you carry Some episodes I carry It's just today how it works today. today you're carrying I actually read all the questions for once Yeah you did I'm normally really bad at reading I think I'm getting better at it Oh here we go. A reminder, right. SoundCloud mixes out with Hudson. It came out last Friday. Run it. Run it. Repost it. It's doing really Share well. Share it. I think it's got like quite a few likes and stuff. It yeah. doesn't have many plays, but that's okay. Yeah. Bro. It's the first mix. Weird thing today. My mix is popping off today. Really? I got over nearly 200 plays today and like 10 likes. It's wild. It's weird. Anyway, yeah. Run it. We've got... I think... The next one's coming very soon. I think we're going to have to start smashing him out... It's going to be fortnightly or monthly, right? Because mm. at the moment, I think we've got six or seven boys making a mix and I've got three on the waiting list. Also, I would love some female DJs to send some in. 100%. And I wouldn't mind a... We could get Triplet. Triplet would be dope. We could ask her. Um, but also Lizzie, Lizard. I oh, would, love, I would yeah. love a no, mix from her. Get her on first. Get her on first. Bro, have you listened to her new track? Yeah, it's dope. It's fucking yeah, sick. She, 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 That's that halftime shit. Yeah, what I, I got Scott's called halftime. What I reckon she's gonna be I like love an, it. another Rez. Yeah, which, that would I, be cool. And I vibe with Rez. Yeah, right. Rez is dope. You know, it, it, yeah. I, remember I definitely Lizzie's would first love. Set, bro. Yeah, she's fucking sick. She's like legit, bro. Yeah, because I've been, I've known her like since her first set. So yeah, if we can get a mix from her, I'd be chuffed. Like, she would easily do it. Just ask. Yeah, a one, halftime one mix or something would be so sick. Yeah, if you want to. 
be featured on the SoundCloud, let us know because then we can actually start pumping him out mm. a bit more than we wanted to because at the moment we've literally got a year's worth of mix we did monthly. Yeah. So send them and keep sending them in. Let or us if know. you're interested in making one, just DM us. And yeah. DM, yeah. DM us one of your mixes if you have one. Yeah. Any genre. I don't care. I don't, anything. Yeah. As long as it's not commercial. I don't want commercial Yeah, nah. Mixes. Sorry. We kind of want to keep it bassy. Yeah. Where it, it can be like... Um, you can have like sing-alongs in it with house dubstep baseline dmb tech house tech house hard start whatever yeah just keep it along the edm road yep yeah all right the fucking oath much love much love and i guess we'll see you next week yep all right peace bye